I'm going to show you two phases of the recent Chennai floods. It's in no way to belittle these women. I think these are stories of courage and grit. But let me tell you, they may surface yet again next year under different names and under different avatars. In this uh, video, what I'm going to do is that you will find a lot of it in past tense. But what should happen presently is something that should be concerning us. You know, if you do a quick search on the internet, Chennai's topography is largely flat, right? And it was brilliantly, it had lovely water bodies. Some of you who are now in the age group of 60 to 70 may remember, like for instance, Teenagar, remember, Mambalam, other areas also had lots of water bodies. But the sharks of the real estate in cahoots with politicians decided they will build inside these water bodies. And the resultant is this flood that we are facing in Chennai right now. For instance, if you look at the Adia River, you know, look at the way the complexion has changed. So much has been built in and around Adia River. There is also something very shocking. Apparently, a police station has been built inside a water body. I mean, what do you do? When, like I say, real estate, mafia and politicians are hand in glove to see to it that Chennai has so-called development. I know climate change is something which is not in your hands and politicians typically will say, are you climate change? I'm saying it in Tamil because they will understand it better, Dravidian parties, you see. Climate change, it is climate change, what can we do? But what about mitigation? What were you doing for so many years and so many months? And the fault is of both the Dravidian parties, whether it is All India na Dravida Munitra Karagam or Dravida Munitra Karagam. You know, India had did two special reports, first on the Mambalam Canal. And today, the result of it was that the Mambalam Canal, the debris was cleared off. The second report is about the iconic Buckingham Canal. You and I know that it has been ruined because filth, industrial effluent, garbage, all kinds of things are dumped into it. And guess what? It is supposed to be a major artery in Chennai, which actually, you know, conjoins three major rivers. Then you Kuvam and Adiyar River. But look at of it. India had went and saw that it was breathing like exhaling for it, someone to give it some kind of a life. We need to do something, Chennai. Won't you agree? Unless the makkal of Chennai and Tamil Nadu rise, this will happen year after year. And on India Head, a channel which supports Tamil Nadu, Chennai deserves better.